I, I think what, when we started out Space Station, we didn't have this dependency. Everybody was participating on station as an individual entity. So there was a, a Japanese module, a European module, a U.S. module, and a Russian module. And all the programs were essentially separate programs. We were participating in the same venture, but we were all isolated with, with very crisp boundaries of how we stayed and there wasn't a dependency across the um, international partnership. We've evolved now to where we're very dependent upon each other and we really rely on each other to get our jobs done. We share research facilities, we share power facilities, we share um, life support facilities, we share all these things back and forth. So we've really become now dependent upon each other we actually operate as a combined entity and and that really was a continuum it started out very separate we had the columbia tragedy at that point we had really no choice but to rely on the russians that really cut our uh, our uh, ability to return samples from space station you know our entire uh, microbial sampling of station was based on returning samples to the ground and making sure there were no bad bugs growing in the atmosphere, the water was safe to drink, all those things required all those samples to be brought, brought back to the earth. We brought back U.S. samples, the Russians brought back Russian samples, we analyzed them, the Russians analyzed them, and then we would say it was safe. When, when we had Columbia, we now had to actually we got one small water sample back. We had to figure out a way to share it between us and the Russians, actually do combined analysis, and actually then say from one standpoint or the other, the station was safe for human inhabit habitation. So we became really dependent upon each other. We really forced ourselves to actually share data back and forth and really understand processes at a much deeper level than we ever did before. And, and that's built a very strong basis for us to move forward. And that's exactly what you're going to have to do as you go to exploration. You're not going to have the luxury of being able to have your own separate systems and your own separate way of doing business. It's going to have to be a combined and joint activity. But there's also some advantages of that in the fact that we have Russian life support systems and U.S. life support systems that differentiating uh, that differential or uh, dissimilar life support system is, is pretty helpful. You know, they use a totally different base technology for CO2 scrubbing than we do, different systems designs. You know, still the same type of material, same basic physical properties, but a very different system. So there's no commonality between the two. So if one breaks, the other one can truly back up the other one, and there's not a generic flaw or generic problem that can take down both. So there's, there's some advantages of having dissimilar redundancy where it makes sense, but then there's other times where you really want to be synergistic and work together as a, as a partnership and, and overall.